Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker shells, debt slave service peasants. And for today's show, I want to welcome our new Chinese audience. So, uh, anyway, this week the Federal Reserve approved three state owned Chinese banks to become bank holding companies and buy banks in the United States. And their first move will be to purchase 80% stake in New York based Bank of East Asia. Uh, which is actually out of Hong Kong. And this is a pretty big deal. Uh, it's the first time any large Chinese bank has been able to purchase a U.S. bank, and it will open the door for the Chinese to acquire small U.S. regional banks. Uh, there's also a couple other uh, large branches opening up. Uh, bank of China will open its fourth branch in Chicago. They already have two in New York and one in Los Angeles. And the uh, Agri Agricultural Bank of China will also open its fourth branch. So, uh, so this is a big move. Uh, we have uh, large new branches of Chinese state-owned banks opening in the major cities in the United States, and we now have Chinese state-owned banks acquiring U.S. banks. And uh, a couple of things that were kind of interesting about this, and um, apparently the ICBC Chinese Bank entered into the agreement with the Bank of East Asia back in January of 2011 and has been waiting for an okay. So it could very well be that there's a lot more Chinese bank purchases of US banks in the pipe already because this is a, a deal that was set up well over a year ago and it's just now getting approved and uh, becoming public. So expect to see more of these. And uh, I also thought it was rather amusing that uh, the issue holding it up was whether the Federal Reserve could work with the Chinese regulatory system. And uh, apparently the Chinese banks met the standards required for its banks to own U.S. banks and take U.S. deposits. Um, I find that very amusing, as you should too, because uh, how, hard it can be, how hard can it be to meet the standards of the U.S. banking regulatory systems, which have failed on every turn over the last four or five years and probably the last few decades. And... Uh, also, the standards used by banks, uh, the banks themselves, um, we've seen the results of that. So the fact that the Chinese banks uh, have uh, made it to those lofty standards is uh, quite impressive, as, as we should all be looking at that. Um, and I think for me, um, what this says is that uh, not only is the partnership between the Chinese and the Americans um, have to be renegotiated, because uh, the Chinese have a lot of U.S. treasuries and uh, can use that as a bargaining chip. Um, I'm, I'm sure that the U.S. and Chinese are probably a lot more aligned um, in policies than a lot of people would think right now. But that's just my opinion. Um, and speaking of my opinion, my opinion of this move is that the Federal Reserve needs to have more players in the U.S. to pick up all our damaged goods. Um, you know, having a fire sale, and who else is going to buy all these dist distressed small banks across the U.S.? Um, over the last few years, there's been hundreds each year. Um, it really isn't in the mainstream news in America right now, but there's hundreds of small regional banks going bankrupt every day, and of course, American taxpayers are getting stiffed on all this bailout money that went to a lot of smaller banks, and that's another story that's not getting reported. Uh, a lot of taxpayer money is being lost on uh, bank smaller banks. So uh, so that that's my take on this. Um, a useful idiot says that this is a move for the Federal Reserve to get another player in here to buy up distressed American banks. So keep your eyes open, uh, particularly after the election. I think we're going to see uh, large Chinese banks buying up uh, poss possibly large swaths of uh, closed American regional banks and small banks. So uh, I, I can get rid of all this uh, this garbage in our banking and economic system. So uh, anyway, I hope they enjoy it, and uh, I'm sure the, the the Federal Reserve and all the other big players in the United States are probably welcoming the Chinese as potential suckers to set them up to buy a bunch of crappy banks that are probably going to get crushed anyway because all the uh, the big too big to fail banks um, they have a considerably larger percentage. I think they had something like 
60 to 70 percent of the market when the collapse happened, and now the two big to fails have 80 to 90 percent of the total banking market. So, anyway, <laughs> all right, Chinese, come on over, get our crappy banks. No, really, this is a great deal. You're gonna love it. Um, location, location, location.